Well, thanks for logging on to your Tuesday morning tropical weather update. And we start in the eastern Pacific with Hurricane Marie, which yesterday when I was showing you this, this was a Category 4 hurricane, a very well-organized and defined system. Still a pretty powerful hurricane, but now it is at Category 2 status, and it is expected to get even weaker over the course of the day today. It is moving in a westerly direction away from Mexico, away from the west coast of the United States, but still going to create problems along the west coast in terms of rip currents. So that impressive storm is getting weaker and it will continue to get weaker over the course of today and into tomorrow. The new thing for us here locally is just south of southeast Louisiana, the National Hurricane Center is now following this, uh, this trough of low pressure and giving it a low chance of developing into a tropical system over the next two days and the next three to five days as well as it continues to move in a west uh, southwesterly direction. And that's going to continue. It's going to continue to throw some moisture over our heads here in southeast Louisiana. So especially Especially if you're along the coast, don't expect those rainfall chances to go down very much. Out in the Atlantic, not too much happening except this area of low pressure, or this uh, particular tropical wave, which is about 900 miles away from the Lesser Antilles, headed in that direction. The National Hurricane Center is giving this a 20% chance of developing into a tropical system in the next three to five days. So we're going to follow that very closely. I'll let you know if anything changes there as well. And otherwise, of course, we continue to follow Hurricane Crystal Ball which is still creating big problems in parts of the Turks and Caicos, parts of the Bahamas as well. It is still dealing with some dry air just to the north of it on its path and some wind shear as well. And that's going to continue to be a problem for this particular hurricane also. But even with that, it's expected to intensify a bit, but not to the point that it reaches Category 2 status. So we're going to follow this very closely. We'll let you know if anything changes. Here are the current coordinates for this storm. 75 mile per hour winds, and that course is north at 12 miles per hour. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast track for Christoph Ball, and you can just about make out Bermuda in this picture right about there. So the good news for them is that this storm should, pa should pass to the northwest of Bermuda as it heads out over the North Atlantic. Looks like it's going to become a remnant low towards the latter part of the weekend and then eventually die out over the North Atlantic. Thanks for logging on for your Tuesday morning tropical weather update.